running. It is perhaps the oldest, most deeply human of sports. Man stands upright, man learns to walk, man runs. Today, long distance running is a phenomenally popular sport, the marathon in particular. But isn't it strange that for such a popular sport, so little is known about the top athletes. We see them achieve amazing things and yet, we would not recognize them if we passed them on the street. All that is about to change. The man who came to this race uh, with uh, a promise, Jeffrey Kipsang of Kenya. A debut marathon, and this is going to be a very quick race indeed as he approaches... <laughs> Not finished yet, <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's okay. I think he's going. He's going to have one more, <laughs> one more. Okay, the road. My name is Chofrik Psanka Moror. I'm 19 years old. I live in Keio in Kenya, and I would like to run marathon this year. I train in Kaptagat, and I would like to run 2.4 or 2.5 for my debut in marathon. Okay. Okay, I will show you. My friend. When I was in uh, high school, here is my sister. Then he, this one, when I was in high school, when uh, present, because I was number one in provincial, when I was in secondary school, when I was in the camp, you see global sports. And then here, when I was in the Kenya team, Imbu. also here, Kenya team. This is when I was uh, pacing in Berlin for Aile and Macau. When Aile goes for a world record. Yeah. I've been in uh, USA. I've been in Finland. I've been in Spain. I've been in Holland. Also, Germany. Yeah. I've been in India times yeah this one I was I, I, I won in Finland this is from the Pangalo this one is from uh, Lille half marathon when I when I won junior world cross country champion it's okay
I reported to Takame it was uh, first year of uh, December, that's uh, 2010. They were, they were friendly, the way I see. Because they welcome me, they show me the room, they show me everything. Yeah. And for about uh, three days, I was, I knew everything about the camp. Yeah. When I was in the camp, uh, things changed completely. Yeah? My Yanni, I changed a step and my life changed. Because uh, when I was in the camp, everything was organized. So we had, a, we had, we had no difficult time. When, when, when we started the camp, we didn't want to have a, a situation where we have people running the camp. We wanted the athletes to have the experience of growing as athletes and as people. So we wanted to create a camp that is not different from being at home. There are basic things that you have to do. Manage yourself. We, we come here. We have, we have, uh, we have the leaders among themselves. We have the chairman. We have the secretary. We have uh, the committees in various departments. Like now, we have somebody who is in charge of the cleanliness. We have somebody who is in charge of the, in the kitchen. We have somebody who is in charge of uh, about food. So actually, you see that uh, if there is a problem, they finish themselves. Yeah. <laughs> they come to me, or they go to any other committee member, and then we we communicate, and we we look way out to solve it. And if the solution doesn't work, then it goes higher, it goes to the management. That's global sports communication. I was one of the first managers uh, going to, to Africa. And I saw also immediately that there was a big chance that if these young people can, could develop their running skills and their athletics career and could earn money, that they can do a lot of, of things for their village, for, their, for, their, for, uh, for people around them, for their families. And, and one of the other reasons to, be, to, to make a training camp was also that an athlete would come to Europe or to America and, and run a race and earn money and will go home. And then everybody in the village, all the family would come to that athlete to, for, for backing for money. And the athlete could not train anymore. There was no, no system in the training. So one of the reasons to have the training camp is also to get them away from, from the distractions of, of daily life, from the family, from the village, and so they can fully concentrate on, on, on training. And that, that has helped a lot. And that, that also is one of the reasons for the big improvement of, uh, of, of running in, in, in Africa. We are together most of the time. Remember, we are uh, most of the time we are together in the camp. We work together, we chat together. Yeah, we share many things. So that's just the the way we, we became uh, friends. It was like I was at home. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is our, our land, it's still ours. 
Ама ли плаво и там му е плано. Just do it manual. This, uh, this hole is about 40 feet. This is uh, where we are going to, to prepare our, 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 our truck. And you see, actually, when we have our own truck here, we, and the community around, the school around, they can come and see, see the national training around. So it is another way of giving them a t-shirt to see that ah, so, so and so is running. So even me, I can run. So actually, it will impress the, the, the young ones also. This, I think this is the right place actually for them to see. And for this come actually, it, it gives people ideas. Yeah, we're going to check. To, uh, I don't know how it is, but uh, you know it rained so much yesterday. Mike, we let you pick up all the gifts, no? Hey, good job, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, yeah, yeah. I got a warm up. Hello. Hey, 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 I'm asking, what is your problem? I no, my, my problem is the same with your problem. <laughs> is that this one? You have a problem. Are you still crying for losing the Euro Cup? Ah, this <laughs> one. Oh, <laughs> well, not a big problem for me, this one. You know? No, no, no. But we, we support it. Eh? Yeah. We support it. Because no, it normal. was expected. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Everybody runs. Who is young, who is old, who is strong, who is not strong. So, who has talent remain. And, uh, can look for a professional activity knowing that he has talent. But if you ask uh, who won a marathon, if you ask uh, uh, who is the best in 5,000 meters, nobody knows. Also, people in Atletica are not able to know. Maybe yet one hour, eh? here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is no sun. This is the problem. You need to pray for, for the sun to come. Hey. Yeah. But it's better. In, in town, it rains so much. Oh, yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah. Ten, eh? mm -hmm. was not so good uh, today. It's too, too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hopefully it will. You know the sun was coming. But... <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. We know, <laughs> Richard, <laughs> Richard. No, no, you you can start running here. So after after one hour that you run become good. I know one Musungu run is over here. Yes. <laughs> but you are too light now. Too light. We need somebody <laughs> consistent <laughs> with some weight. Hey, this is too much. Yeah. I think we'll be here until one o'clock. Eh? Hey, yes, yeah. yes. It's a day. But I hope it's not rain. Because uh, 
You can see the clouds are coming. Ah, the whole hole. No, no. It's about training, actually, because people are training hard. Yeah, people are committing themselves, they are training hard. They have done it to be their, their job. Actually, they, they have no other, other thing to, to do. Just the training, training, or running. When you are building an athlete, you have to, in the end, have a balance of the three aspects, strength, endurance, and speed. So coming to the track for us is one element. Uh, we are trying to enhance one element of speed. Uh, whether you want to call it pure speed or pure endurance speed, uh, still, overall, it's speed. Hey, Jaram, easy! When we speak about training instead, we speak about a, a, a physiological process that uh, at the end can change something in your, in your body, in your physiology. Excellent. At the end of everything, training is something tough when you arrive at the top quality. What gives me the strength is that that I knew if, if I know that I have, I have trained well, I have confidence in myself. Yeah. So I and I'm running for myself, and I like it because it's something we compete. For me, I like about competition. Yeah. Since I started training, I've not uh, I've not got an injury. But uh, I've come to realize that uh, the way I'm running, and the way I'm running is is good. Yeah, that I that the injuries that I skip some injuries. The, the model, the role model, the example is to see the top Kenyan athletes that can win medals, can, can earn good money, can change really their life, and can become uh, national heroes. Uh, with this type of, of example, of model, everybody tries to run, everybody. You know, the difference 
between uh, half marathon in Kenya and half marathon elsewhere is that uh, when you see 200 athletes, you know those are elite athletes. Maybe in, in Dunhek or in Berlin, half marathon, you know, a smaller percentage are elite athletes. So most people are doing it more for fun. But in Kenya, people do it competitively. So I hope you will uh, enjoy your running seeing whether you will be able to compete with others, but I'm pleased that so far you have done what you did. Yes. Uh, this, uh, we thank you for traveling masses that you gave to them coming to this place. So Lord God, may, may we rejoice in the gifts that you've given to us, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Shall we please all stand up for the national anthem? Distinguished guests, all protocol observed. The first one, we have an animal for the award. The cow was donated by Moy High School Kabarak. Thank you very much. He's also receiving 100,000 shillings and a complimentary voucher from Lake Bogoria Hotel. And I, uh, I congratulate those who won and those who didn't win. I hope next time they will be able to win. But keep it up. God bless you. Thank you. So they come into the sport to make a living. And that is a driving force. Uh, the fact that there are so many of them at the moment, uh, and the fact that there are so many uh, few competitions that pay, then it f pushes things to the way Darwin thought many years back, the survival of the fittest. <laughs> About uh, three years ago, I think Patrick uh, was started to work with uh, with Geoffrey, and uh, he discovered him. And you, you know, he mentioned to Valentine and also to me, uh, but in the first place to Valentine, hey, this is a very special athlete, a very special person also, you know, very focused, uh, very uh, determined, very confident. The battle for the junior men's title is underway. Jeffrey Kamwaraw is running the opposition into the ground here, and he's done it with immense confidence. And what a glorious future could await this young man. He became world champion cross-country juniors and and since then you know everything exploded I mean now the next step is the marathon that's uh, yeah he's a phenomenal uh, talent and I think the special thing about him uh, is that he, he has this self-confidence without being cocky without being arrogant hello hey Patrick this is Valentine hey how are you man <laughs> I am fine how is life in Kenya Nothing much. Actually, I was in a meeting and then I tried to send SMS. So every time I send, they come back. Are you still able to handle our friend Kip Sang, the energy? Yeah, yeah, actually, the amazing thing. There is extra attention, but it's more, uh, like I said, it's not so much between me and Joffrey, uh, because I don't want to give too much pressure to, to Joffrey. 
Um, but it's more to see with, with Patrick and with Richard Matto. Uh, are the trainings going fine? Is he healthy? Uh, is there any uh, small pain or anything? Uh, but at this moment, everything is going very fine with, uh, with Geoffrey. It improves my my endurance. I can have a lot of endurance. I cannot I can have a lot of uh, stamina. I think some are uh, uh, power drinks, like this one, you can taste. Ah! <laughs> Mostly water. Yeah. What was that? I've been coming every morning, three o'clock, to be watching them out in Star Trek. They pass through here, yeah, and they run around. And some of them who do not believe in uh, ganging up with a group or grouping up with them, mm -hmm. they run around in different directions. <laughs> yeah, I see people are dropping down now. So the, the, the tough ones are, you know, you can separate, we call it separating the, uh, you know, when, when you are making wheat to be good, you are separating the dirt and the, <laughs> and the real wheat. So the real wheat will, is coming up now. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, there are also risks involved because uh, the, the area covered by Kamang is very small and you, you know you'll find uh, so many vehicles are also using and they, they, they don't care about you, the, 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 the people who are driving. So the chances of getting uh, injured or uh, being in an accident is, is higher. This one has also many benefits. Okay, not when it's wet, but when it's dry. You can do more kilometers without uh, having problems on the legs or muscles. So this is uh, user-friendly, user except when it's like this. I guess everything has a good side and a bad side.
Yeah, there was a chem's teacher. He actually, he was my friend. And he used to tell me, you can run. I, I see you can run, so maybe you can start the uh, training. Yeah, but even uh, even though I was uh, I was a little bit I was I was uh, shy, I mean, when running, but I I just continued until I was I was not shy again. I became I, uh, I become confident. Yeah. Uh, Geoffrey Kipsang Kamuror is not very better with use than the name Kamuror. He was admitted on the 25th, the 25th of January 2006, to Foreman North class. And this is the village that primary he came from. He came from Chepsamo Primary. This is his picture when he won. And everybody was so proud about it. All of us, we really celebrated his winning. He won, and we all celebrated. So it's like the school was winning. Uh, here, the cubicles where students stay. They stay about uh, uh, 12 inside the cube. Welcome in. We are now in Kinshasa Cube. Uh, since we all named these uh, cubes uh, using uh, capital cities in Africa, and this is Kinshasa where Geoffrey uh, stayed. Uh, wow, that is his bed. And I believe uh, it doesn't look very nice, but uh, it accommodated him for four years. And uh, he slept here. Morning he goes to class, then morning run, evening run, then he comes to sleep after preps at night. During my time uh, when I was in school, that was in the 70s and 80s, those years, anybody who did sports was considered um, maybe not a good academic material. And, uh, and in Kenya, we pride ourselves in, uh, in excellence in academics. It does not matter whether you're, you're producing or not producing afterwards, but uh, that is the, the, the idea. <laughs> yeah, so, but now things have changed, you know. Uh, they realize, hey, this thing is good. Even parents started encouraging now their kids to do sport. In two groups, you are six, yes? Yes. yes. Seven. Yes. For speed work, the chest must be forward and you swim. Yes. And you swim. You can run, I can run. There's nothing special about my leg and uh, Geoffrey's leg. There's nothing special. There's nothing special about uh, his chest or his lungs. But there are areas where you can train and you become athlete. I believe areas like highlands like this, it is good for the lungs. Leg fast, isn't it? The last my end, Jew, okay? Unakata, upepo. Unakata, upepo, all right? Then, for speed work, we said what? The chest must be what? Forward. It is a trunk, the upper <coughs> part. It is the upper part. Okay, let's go. Speed, speed, speed. <coughs> Faster. Ah, uh, pace the end of you, eh? Eh? Yes. It's the end of you. Even with this debut, you may find them uh, doing very well. You'll find them doing very well. Because every year as he trains, he was actually progressing gradually upwards. Initially, uh, we did not want to rush him to run a marathon. Uh, he was been, he's been eager for the last two years to run a marathon. Uh, we've tried him in some pacing. <laughs> the uh, feet of this lead pack, six pacemakers spread across the front there, uh, due to take them to uh, different distances and sharing the burden of pushing the pace along at something close to world record tempo. Well, that, that's, uh, that, that's, is, that is quick. That is quick because the... Well, People no think, you know, just what you mean, the pacemaker, okay pacemaker to run in front. That's not enough. I mean, to keep the time, not, the, not enough. At the pacemaker, they are everything. Uh, when you put somebody to pace, you not know, just that race, he's a responsible person, you know, just to play a very good role in terms of time, in terms of protecting wind, in terms of, you know, just to uh, organize, you know, just, I mean, the other pacemaker next to him. 
and uh, to wait each other and to watch the time, how far they run, how, how I mean, the things, you know, kind of things. Yeah. Are they trying to encourage... In fact, I think the pacemaker there is going to drop back and help Gabriel Salassi. I remember, you know, that day, you know, just uh, Jeffrey... Uh, I don't expect him, you know, just to run that good. Because he's a new athlete and uh, because, you know, normally pacemaker always, you know, just... Uh, uh, well experienced, must be well experienced athlete. But uh, some athlete, you know, just like him, you know, just they can't do things uh, a perfect way. And I think we've somehow concluded with the management that it's about time that he runs. The management has settled on Berlin. Whatever we have done from the beginning of the year uh, up to now gives us a uh, a good direction towards uh, doing something in Berlin. I am uh, I'm doing my extra training on Sunday, like the way I've done it today. But normally I'm going to I normally go to early places, yeah. It makes me happy that, you know, he's doing that because it's giving him a balance. He's, it's enhancing his um, strength training and also giving him an uh, advantage in, as he prepares for Berlin. Because he's a guy who can run and look forward. No, he doesn't look behind. So if I'm actually among the, other, the others we have here, who run and look behind, but this one, no. It's just uh, when his focus ahead, is ahead. He doesn't care who is there. He moves and goes. It makes me feel free. Even do a lot of competition, still I feel free. <laughs> because I, it's, I commit myself and run. I've decided to run. morning all the athletes are arriving and uh, my planning will be that for tomorrow and Friday I, um, I'm there just to assist the athletes and to have some meetings with uh, different organizers so it's more to to be there in the morning to assist the athlete um, towards the the starting area and, and to wish the athlete Good luck. Yes, Jonathan, this Valentine. Is the plane already there? Oh, okay, perfect. So you try to hurry a little bit in uh, in Nairobi, and then uh, and Sagita is in contact with KLM. No need to, to push at 27 or 28 or something around there, it's too early. So around that point, then you know who is who in the race. Good. Yeah, Kijk aan. Jonathan, good morning. Good morning. How's life? Okay.
now in the socks. Ah, we check. Yes. We chose or to cooperate uh, with uh, Joffrey uh, because um, I've been following him since he came to Berlin uh, for our half marathon last year, and then he came again for pacing the the marathon uh, last year to help to assist Heile uh, to run a quick time. So I, I I knew that he could cover the distance. I mean, if you can run until 35K at such a high pace, uh, then surely you can do also uh, finish the race in, 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 a, in a very good way. I wouldn't be surprised if he, if he comes out on top, although, you know, uh, uh, it will not be easy, uh, but uh, he could be uh, that surprise, that um, unknown, unknown factor in the race and making um, a very strong debut. I think if the weather is going to be good, we stay we stay with the first group until the end. Until towards the end we shall see what will happen. Yeah, because I, I know everybody has trained well and everybody is prepared for it. So I think we will see what will happen on Sunday. Okay, so now uh, we start uh, the chronological order of our technical meeting. And uh, yeah, just for your information, uh, we have 40,000 runners taking part in this race uh, tomorrow. This is a front side which uh, gives identification for television. And this is a back side, uh, has the same number, but also it says first group, second group, third group, fourth group, or fifth group auch. So now we come to the uh, yeah, more detailed plan of the start. So 8.50, you go from here into here. And at 8.55, everyone has to be behind the lines. OK, so this is uh, our course, and uh, which will give you a very good showcase uh, of the city, although I'm sure you will not be looking at the buildings on the roadside. And then you see, yeah, but when you push, you see it on the sign, gradually push, not very fast, okay? But then the next time you say you are 203.29, so now you can see the pace is going higher. We have patches we sew, but I like this idea. This is clever. My name is Arvillemondrum. I'm coming to Berlin for the first time, so I will pace for the guys. Actually, it's for all the runners, but I should be looking for a team to ensure that he's in the pace. You're running from this side to this side? Yeah. There are some athletes who get uh, the, the drinks handed out, and there are some athletes the drinks are on the table. Yeah? You, uh, Joffrey, get the drink handed out over. Yeah? yeah? Two pacemakers get the drink handed out. Yeah, so they don't have to grab it from the table, yeah. but they hand over. You are one of those two. To be very honest, I am not 100% convinced about the, the other three pacers. Eh? So, yes, they say that they go to 30k, but maybe already earlier getting some difficulty. Eh? Don't wait for them. Eh? Run the pace which is requested. Yeah? Okay. Any question? Enjoy. This is first experience with marathon. <laughs> Huh? Yeah. Hmm. yeah. You're not only tired in the back, you're flexible in the hips. The back is a bit tight. Yeah. And you can see here, uh, here's the tightness coming. It's not going inside, it's there. Yeah. The shape you can see in the eyes, sometimes not in the legs. Yeah, because if, you, if the shape is there, usually they train so hard that the legs really are wasted almost. Yeah, so if you feel that, then uh, yeah, okay, then you know, okay, the extra two days of rest and blah, blah, blah you, you can bring that in. But the shape is in the eyes. 
First of all, <coughs> give I, myself fast. Are you are you uh, uh, having good faith for the, for Sunday? Yeah. 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 Don't be overconfident, no, please, no. because marathon is marathon. Marathon. And <laughs> there is no pressure. No pressure. The only pressure is within you to see, yeah, what can I do? Yeah. But you, your training went well, so. Yeah. 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 But this marathon uh, to start here in uh, in. Uh, uh, in, in Berlin, is directly uh, the, uh, the, the, the first league of marathon. Eh? Yeah. And you have a uh, player. And more horses in the life. Kijk even de tape regelen van Jonathan. Ja? Even wat tape regelen voor Jonathan. Wat voor uh, die tape? Voor die uh, powerbandjes. Oh ja. Ich bin hier im Bayerischen Wald und meine Reise geht zum größten See Bayerns, auch Bayerisches Meer genannt. Eine Entdeckungsreise in die Geschichte unserer Nationen, aber auch für den Einzelnen. Vor Filmen ruf ich mal tot tot der Tag zu. Ja. Come to your room and then we discussed the last couple of things. Yeah? Geoffrey! Geoffrey! One minute. Is everything everything is good and okay for tomorrow? Yeah. Yes? Okay. Good. Ah. This is where you trained long time for, huh? Yeah, yeah. To, for this moment. Yeah. It's almost coming. Yeah. So for tomorrow, at 6 o'clock, you come for uh, breakfast. Six o'clock? Six o'clock. Yeah. The race is at uh, nine, so three hours before. Yeah. Three hours before you do the, um, the breakfast. Okay. Yeah? Okay. The wind is coming from this direction, which means that from here to here the wind is a little bit against. Yeah. After 29 kilometers, the wind is helping you almost till the last kilometer. Yeah? yeah? yeah. Just watch the every five kilometers, there are the drinks. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? The drinks always on the right side of the road. Never on the left side, always on the right side. Yeah. So if you see drinks is coming, it's the small yellow power bar bottle. Yeah? Yeah. The last table. Behind table number seven, somebody is standing for you to give you the drink. Okay, table number? Number seven. I, I thought you say four, one, two, to se to seven. Up to seven, that okay. is the last one. Okay. Behind number seven yeah. is somebody waiting for you. So, which is good. Because then everybody is looking for a table in front and you have relaxation and you can go to the last one and pick your drink. Yeah. If you miss, never, never, never stop and go back. Eh? Yeah. You continue. Because uh, tomorrow with this weather, missing one drink is not a problem. Yeah? Yeah. This is a big chance for you just to follow and to see what... Uh, and last year the pressure was on Heile, Patrick Macau. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in the end, Patrick Macau was a winner in world record. Yeah, yeah. So there are big possibilities. But the, let the pressure be on somebody else. Let him take the, the responsibility for the race. And you control, control, control. Okay. Yeah, the last kilometers you can let all energy come out from all those months. 
Okay. Training for this one. Okay. Yeah? Okay. okay. Thank you. See you. Just wish me the best of luck in the race. Tell me to go and fight and focus and struggle. Yeah. getting way back on, on target. Look at that, 62-12. Well, Jeffrey Mutai had asked for 16-14, but... Uh, and uh, Mayo is there as well, so that's your leading group. And the pacemakers have done a terrific job so far. It is quite amazing that they can step out for the first time at the marathon and just run so, fa so fast. Well, I reckon they're about, about two courses, a terrific final stage of a race, the last 12 kilometers now between these four. Who will prevail here? Who will be brave enough to take it on? Will Kipsang never been in this territory before? Will Kometa never been in this territory before? They've been to 30k, but beyond that, this is different territory. Really this year. Well, look at this, Stuart. 
uh, Jonathan Mayo is starting to drop off and it looks as though uh, Jeffrey Mutai has really um, is really working hard and uh, is picking up the pace yeah this is the break and it's uh, Kometo, the two training partners. Well, uh, especially if you cannot, you know, just follow him when he, you know, just run away, you know, from you. It's, uh, if it is hard, you know, just to reply or to follow him. Uh, just, uh, everything is like, you know, just it looks, you know, over. So Kipsang looks to me as though he's holding that distance at the moment between him and the leading two. He's desperately hanging on, he's desperately trying to sort of stay there. He's going to push them faster, but now, interestingly, it's Mutai who's uh, stepping forward, and uh, Kometo, whether he's just trying to gather his breath or whether he's just trying to hold on, it's hard to say. Mutai's going to win the 39th Berlin Marathon, just outside 4-2, it's fantastic. Kometo in second place, and that has got to be incredible running. Just outside the record, So here is a man on his debut as well, a man who came to this race uh, with uh, a promise. And my goodness me, Jeffrey Kipsang of Kenya, a debut marathon. And this is going to be a very quick race indeed as he approaches the finish now. He's been in no man's territory for such a long time. He promised and in a way has delivered on a first marathon. He's learned a lot of lessons here. And <laughs> look at this, they wait him coming in. And that, I think, is absolutely magnificent. A Kenyan, one, two, three. And Jeffrey Kipsang comes to, look at the clock, just outside 2.6. And that's a very, very 2.6.11 or thereabouts. And he comes through to take uh, third place. And a very, very nice run indeed. Very, very nice. And they are spent, aren't they? It's uh, warmed up out there. I must admit it's got a little bit warmer. The race uh, promised to deliver a race, and it was a race in the end. A very fine race indeed. The record still stands, and Patrick McCow still holds it. Uh, set here just 12 months ago. But don't uh, ever make the mistake of thinking this wasn't a great run. It was. It was a very, very good run indeed. I see a very positive side, which is that Joffrey ran a uh, very, very strong first marathon. There's another side, and that's that you feel a little bit with Joffrey, because his ambition level and, and what he is aiming for is so extremely high that I believe deep inside, Joffrey cannot be happy with this result. Uh, I mean, everybody around him can be happy, but Joffrey himself will feel a little bit 50-50 about the result. And in that way, you feel with, uh, with Joffrey, because you know that um, really inside, he, he was thinking of something different. Just tell them that this is my first marathon, this is the start, and now I have 10, 15 years great marathon running in front of me. Yeah? So, don't sit like... I know you have maybe you got something a little bit different in mind, huh? <laughs> but be happy, yeah? Yeah, yes? Good call, sir. Congratulations.
For me, I was expecting to run maybe 2.5, but 2.6 is not bad. As my first marathon, I'm happy about it. Maybe because I know I'm going to, to improve it in the future. So I have no doubt about it. Yeah, I'm OK and I'm happy about it. To me, uh, Geoffrey Kipsang is one of the few exceptional athletes that I've come across in my career as an athlete and as a coach. Uh, is somebody who uh, is driven by something that I still try to uncover. Yeah, I mean, you, as such a young guy, you always learn something from, from, from every race, and I, I'm sure he did it, uh, did learn something here, and this will help him make him go faster in the, in the next year. So I think he's got a great future ahead of him. Believe me, if he keeps you know, just this. Uh... This, I mean, uh, style or this training, this uh, result, uh, he will be the one, you know, just can't break the world record. <laughs> 